Hey everybody, before we get started with the installation of these head units, I'm going to change out sparks, sparky tools, um, they're the Iridium CC Delco, okay, 12681464, or the other number, 41-101. So, um, I was looking in the book here, and it says at the gap, at the gap is um, 60 thousandths of an inch for the gap. I think that's loose. Yeah, okay. So, we got a 5 8, and we're going to crack these loose and get them changed. Oh, maybe I need a deeper one. Oh boy. Okay. Let's go for the deep. What is it? Um, uh, five eight. That would be a seventeen, right? Sixteen? Seventeen? Wrong way. Ooh, first try. That's an Erico thing. Sixteen millimeter. So five eight is a sixteen. Okay. <clears throat> it's been a crazy fall cleanup for me. I get everybody's leaves. <laughs> Dang. <clears throat> okay. There's the spark plug. The little well, that's got some cleaner on it too, so. Don't be worried. The fire maker thing is looks okay. We're gonna gap it and see what it was. Stick it in this little thing. Run it around until it's tight. Come on, come on around. Come on around. Come on. Whoa, shit. Okay. Looks like, oh my god. These were like 64 not 60s okay looks like it was 64 uh, I can't focus very well so yeah okay out with the old we're gonna put a new Brand new AC Delcos 1256837. That's what the number is on there, and the 41 101. Okay, our pre gap. So using our gapping tool, slide it in and run it down until it reaches. Bam! They're dead on. They're dead on 60. You guys can see that. Uh, angles. Angles, man. Okay. Can you focus? Focus. That's dead on 60. So, I'm going to put these puppies in here. You know, since I uh, changed out plugs and wires, or, oh my god, wires, I might as well do plugs. Now these get tightened down to 15 foot pounds. Okay. So we'd get our little daily out, our little torquey wrenchy. Okay, it's 15, I may not need, well I probably can't use this, it's too low. I'm probably going to need the clip type, half inch variety. Yep, and so we're going to go from 0 on up to 15, so that's 10 plus 5 everybody. 
which is right there. Let me see. Just give me another chance. Yeah. There, 15. We'll lock it down. Well, if it stops moving. Okay. Put our half inch adapter. So we can use that 3 8 um, socket. Okay. Then, tip her up somehow. Maybe bring it on the edge. Living on the edge. Okay, just on the edge. You guys can see right here on the edge. And we'll bring it down. That's right, 15. That's clicking. Okay. That's 15 foot pounds. We'll keep that just in case. And we're going to need my socket back. Put it back in reverse. Oh, Break it loose already. Do the first head, then I'll go and do the next head. This one is the back head. The other one's the front head, right over there, as you can see. So after that, we will do a final blow nozzle to the heads. Make sure everything's clean and there's nothing in the threads. And we'll do the same thing to the block. We're going to blow it out, um, make sure the threads are clean, and then we'll begin again when I'll install the heads. we got some new dowels, everybody, and we have some new head bolts. So we'll get that going. Let's see what these ones are. God dang, this one's... This one's off too. This one's about 62. 62 thousandths. And looks alright. Nothing fouled. It's a little black down on there. This one was. Oh, this one's. The white is completely gone. This one's pretty white, but a little black. This one's. This first one I pulled out was. There's no white left. Okay, let's go for another fire makey thingy. Nice and shiny. That's a nice new spark plug. Okay, here we go. Bring it around, bring it around, bring it around. It's about 61. So. We're going to um, bend it down just a smidge. Okay. Just on a flat surface, not too much for us to break it off. Bring it down on a flat surface. Little bit more. We're just so close. Okay. Now it's a little tight at 59, so we're going to push it. Oh, geez. We're going to push it just till we get to 60. 
I'm gonna wiggle it, wiggle it. Oh geez, it's still going past. Yeah. Okay, we gotta push it down more. Okay. Stick her in right about here. Bring it to 60. All right. And take it right back out. <coughs> Spot plug number two going in. Always do these by hand, all the way to tighten. Then you do your torque. Slide this back to the edge here. Okay. There we go. You hear that click? That's 15 foot pounds. This one here. Put it loosen. Last one. It's easy identifying which head it is because I left these studs in. This is what the um, ignition coil box sits on, where all the plug wires plug into. Plus, this is where the thermostat or temperature sensor is located. Okay, let's check out this plug. It's got some white left. A little bit of burning. Let's check this, see where it was at. Boom, 64. That's a lot. Okay, let's get another one. These old ones. We're one two five six eight three eight seven. The new ones, one two five six eight three eight seven. Same number, forty one one zero one. It's the same across the board, so it's O E. And we're gonna check and see where this is at. All right, all spark plugs are successfully installed. I want you to take a look. Um, the thing I want to mention is we're going to be throwing on this back um, exhaust manifold. And take a look at how I'm going to approach this. Some of these still has the nuts on. So what I did was I'm, I have a socket big enough for the end of the... Uh, stud and then I have a 13 millimeter for the nut So I'm gonna hold this and turn this so it'll turn off. I've already broke this one loose I did spray it with some uh, WD-40 specialist penetrant no sponsor um, Just so happens that I had a can of this so I'm gonna use it and I'm gonna set you guys up and you'll get to see me once again in action Okay going to hold this and wrench it out. Wrenching this thing out. I think that's what I said, wasn't it? Wrenching in this thing out. <laughs> okay, that one's broke free. Slide your thing off. There we go. It's a little tiny bit rusty, but you see, see I'm getting them and then I'll spray it down. Spray down the stud with some more. Penetrant to break up that rust. On to the next one. I'm going to set this up on here.
let me get to the edge. Can you guys still see? Okay, I'm gonna go with the bottom one and hold it. Get that on there. Okay. Um, boop. And just gonna break it free. Just like that. If you don't do it like this and you don't know how to get these off, refer to this video. Because if you don't, you're going to end up breaking off the stud or wallowing out the end that works with a socket. Ask me how I know. <laughs> okay, there's the other one. And we'll go to the third one. Just on there, good and tight. Hold it and walk the nut out. Oh. Okay, that one's loose. Get your thing off. Your uh, socket, rather. Okay, and there you go. Um, so we're going to be throwing the exhaust manifolds on. That way when we put the back head in, it'll go right into the holes of the, the downpipe to the cat and out, out, you know, out back. So... Let's do this one. This one on. Get it tight. Let me slide this out a little bit. This stuff says it's fast acting. So far, I haven't met any resistance because these were pretty rusty. Uh, no heat involved, which is good. Give me back my socket. There you go. Okay. There's the top one. Now this last one. Middle one. Get the wrench on first. A boxed end. A ratcheting wrench with a boxed end end will help you achieve this. So you don't need an extra long ratchet or anything. Just some short throws because they're only studs with nuts. It's the exhaust manifold. So, that's for free. And out she comes. Right there. Okay, that is a video tip for you on how to remove the nuts off of the exhaust manifold studs. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> uh, so that you do not break them. Now I already went ahead before this and I um, tightened down the studs. Careful, not too much. Just be smart about it so you do not um, break the studs off. Like, um, like when I did, when I try to remove the exhaust manifold, I broke a few and um, I have some videos on the Healy coils on these things. <clears throat> so, all right. Um, this one's got its final spray down with the air, shop air. So, um, we're going to prepare um, the block next. We're going to uh, use shop air and blow all the gunk out if there's any. Do a final kind of thing before this goes on and then we're gonna put a new head gasket new and uh, you know the new dowel pins and we'll see you on that segment okay we got part number uh, 140 24 24 these are the dowel pins ok 
Yeah. That's your dowel pin, brand spanking new. And these go right down into here. I may have to use a rubber mallet. Okay. The hammer. Yeah. Sure, they're not supposed to go in there that hard. I've got extra. I don't know. Yeah, some of these aren't all the way, they're out of round, but just a tiny bit. I think you're just supposed to stick them in, <laughs> put the head gasket on. Okay, I got a brand new head gasket. Okay, let me give a little bit of taps on this. The Allen seat is better. Okay. Now, coming in with the head. Okay. I can't see the holes for that. Right there. Okay. Get into your hole. in my way. That's why I had to <laughs> one of the bolts in my way. Locate your dowel. Easier said than done, right? Yeah. Easier said than done. Oh, there we go. 
know. I don't know if that's no, nope, that's not it. Close. Oh, got it. Did I get it? No. This one came out. No. Okay, we're gonna put a different one in. Take two. All right. You go. Kind of. Get it this time? I think I did. Yeah, buddy. Okay, just like that. Now I have four of these bolts. The long, they're the long ones. Um, the, the long ones go, yeah, the long ones go across here to the inside of the engine then the short ones you're gonna go in the back hold the head down like that and just thread them in by hand This ain't exactly in order, but I'm doing it by hand for now. Once I get these torqued down, I can go ahead and put my nuts on on the back pipe there. I can't remember for the life of me if this head gets this one or this one this one's got threads this one does not what my mind's telling me is I'm probably gonna put the one with the stud on top back here because that's got if you notice that has a stud that has a stud and then this one will probably be on that one down there so like that that's what I'm thinking. I don't know. And then the short ones go in the back here. So that way, 
I've got four short ones for this front head and four long ones, but the exception is these. I'm not sure how we're going to use the these special ones. I don't know. It doesn't look too, it's not, you know, up to this height. So I don't know. I probably can still put that in. Okay, now we got our tightening sequence. Okay, that's how it's going to go since this is the front of the engine right here. We're going to and that's the head both heads that's how we're going to type both so we're going to pin it right up here somewhere out of our way okay and we're going to grab a oh you gotta be kidding you don't want to stay up there oh my god that's just painter's tape so So when these get torqued, I think it's going to crush down those dowel pins a little bit more. Uh, let's see. These are, I think they're going to be a 15 millimeter. Correct. So we're just going to. Take them till they're tight. We're just gonna do this till they just tighten up the first time. So here's the one, here's number one, and then we'll go to two, three, four, and then five, six, seven, then eight. There we go, tight. Second one. Okay, third one. Okay, tight, four. Okay, number five. Then six. Seven, then eight. Okay, that's it. We got a truck wrench. We gotta set this to forty four foot pounds. Forty four foot pounds. Okay, we'll start with this one. Uh, there, and then two. Get on there. Okay. Uh huh. That forty four. Right there. We should go until we get a lot of buzzers. Okay, there's 44. 
three. It's different from when you can have, from then you, from how you can see what you're doing, how many you got so far. Okay, that's 44. Forty-four. Go to five. Okay, this is forty-four. Six. What was that? Forty-four. Seven. Forty-four. And number eight. Okay. 44. Next is 95 degrees. <clears throat> so we got to change it. Two degrees. It's not going to let me. This Okay. Okay, we got... Oh, uh, don't change the nanometers. Okay, back to degrees, go down to 95. Ooh, ooh. Okay, oh. there we go. Oh, went to 96. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, 95. 95 degrees. We're gonna start with this one. Okay, now 90 is all the way back over here, so. Jesus, one more, yeah, 50. Okay, we're gonna stop when that first beeps, cause dang. That's tight. 95 degrees is tight, yo. Get on there. Okay, thank you. <sighs> Alright, uh... Back head is torqued. Now I got the front. So, we're gonna put the dowels in. And... Gasket. <clears throat> In the head. Make sure it doesn't fall. This is hard. Okay. Dang. Now the gasket.
I blew out both sides of the block already and the heads. So you can navigate. No. Alright. Try again. Just like the back head. <laughs> Get in there. Okay, we're gonna that. So I'm going to get this side in first so it doesn't fall. Okay. There. She's in there. And again, the long bolts go toward the cam. The closer to the cam is the long bolts. And we're on because I can see um, the gasket right here. I did check the back one and we're all on on the back. The very, very back underneath. And we got, you know, our gaskets right here and right here. It looks like it's a pretty thick gasket. So, over time, I'm sure it'll decompress and all that good mumbo jumbo heat cool cycles uh, okay so we're gonna put this one right here now the old bolts they did not have this one with the threads or this one that special one so I don't know um, All I know is that um, if I were to use a short one, I will be one short. Because I only got one extra one left. mil huh yeah 15 mil we're gonna tighten these down till they just get tight Oop, that's it we're gonna go to two okay then three then four And five, and six. Ow, that hurt. And seven, then. Torque these to 44, then 95 degrees, and we'll be done. So, without further ado, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to get to torquing. Okay, um, off camera, real quick. I'll put on the front um, exhaust manifold. Okay. I don't think you need to see me doing that. And then I gotta put the two nuts on to the 
downpipe from the back head. So, uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. And we'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.